Hey there everyone and welcome back to Google Guru. So we talk a lot about security in Google Apps here at Google Guru and there's a good reason for that. Google Apps is still a, a very secure solution. But for some organizations depending on their needs whether it's for privacy reasons, regulatory or other business reasons they may be looking for more protection and control over where sensitive information is shared. And up until now, message and file encryption, specifically in the Google Apps environment, has been expensive, complex, and just not really well integrated. So that's why I'm really excited to show you guys a great product today that can help solve those issues. So Virtue for Business is a simple and secure way to share sensitive information via your corporate Gmail while still retaining control of where it's sent. Virtue has a lot of really unique security features while also allowing admins a central way to monitor and control the flow of sensitive information inside and outside their domain. After you've installed Virtue, you can see this blue bar here tells me that Virtue Protection is on. So I can just click this switch here and toggle Virtue Protection on or off. And from this drop down, I can add some of the features that Virtue has available. So I can choose to disable forwarding so my recipients won't be able to forward this message. And I can even add an expiration date. Let's save this for only one month. So after I'm done, I can go ahead and secure send with Virtue for Business. And it's worth pointing out that all the features that we just went over in the Compose window are available for the consumer version as well as the Virtue for Business version. And after it's done encrypting, let's go into the recipient's inbox and see what the message looks like there. So now that we're in the recipient's inbox, so let's take a look at a couple of different types of messages from Virtue. So the first one that we'll look at here has a response as well. So you can see that as soon as I open it, Virtue begins decrypting. And if I open up the original message, it'll begin decrypting as well. I can see this message expires in a month. And the thing that I really like is that it works directly inside of your Gmail inbox. So it's right here. I don't need to go anywhere else to access my message. And if I go back into the inbox and look at another message here, you can see that I have a message where access has been revoked. So the sender removed my access or the admin removed my access and I no longer have access to this message. A lot of the value that comes from Virtue for Business is the tools available to the Google Apps admin. So just like any other application for your Google Apps domain, you can access it from the Apps section here and click More, scroll down, and select Virtue for Google Apps. So this will bring up your Virtue for Business dashboard. So you'll see all of the emails that have been sent in my domain using Virtue for Business. And you can see the sender here recipient, subject, and the time sent, and status if it's active or if it's been revoked. So you can see some of these have a plus one here, which means there's multiple people who have access to the email. So if I click on this one here, which says Guru Financials, I'll see that Demo sent this email, Guru Financials, to Andrew at GuruVideos.com, who then forwarded it to his personal Gmail account. That's the kind of information that I don't want to get outside of my domain so I can come in here, select this option here to revoke the user. Andrew won't have access to this from his personal account anymore, but he still will through his Google Apps account. And one of the things that I really like about this revoke access feature is that it's not permanent. So if I accidentally revoke access to someone, I can always restore it and they can have access to the email or an attachment. And if we go into the overview for the Virtue for Business dashboard, you can see that Virtue pulls in your groups, aliases, and email addresses. And if you're making a lot of changes to your domain in the admin console or some other admin tool, all you need to do to make sure you have an updated look inside of Virtue for Business is just click this Refresh Now button and it will be updated inside your dashboard. So after taking a look at the end user view and the admin view, I think it's easy to tell that Virtue is really easy to use for everyone. So for the sender, it's easy to use because it's a simple extension for Chrome, Firefox, Outlook, Mac Mail on your desktop, and there's also apps for Android and iOS. And if you're the receiver, you can actually still access messages from Virtue if the sender determines that you should have access. So you'll open up the message in Virtue's secure reader and you can see the message and download attachments. On the admin side, 
Virtue is really easy. It's installable in minutes and it shouldn't take you any time at all. Virtue is also a very secure solution, so no one, including Virtue, ever has access to your content except for you and your intended recipients. With Virtue, messages and files are encrypted on your device and only ever decrypted on your recipient's device. So if you're looking for a simple and secure way to share sensitive information inside your domain and outside your domain, you can go ahead and install Virtue for Business for your domain at virtue.com slash business. And if you're an end user who would just like to give Virtue a try, you can go to the homepage of their website, virtue.com, and install the extension. So after you've given Virtue and Virtue for Business a try, you can go ahead and leave us a comment in the section below the video and let us know what you think.